Bingo. Yo. Yeah. Come on. <sighs> Fine. Have it your way. Feel a lot better. Are you kidding me? Going down. Lower level. Cronies call for backup to take care of us, I bet. No. I imagine you're right where you were paid to be. No, you moron. Frankenstein was the doctor. He made the monster. The monster didn't have a name. Would that make Dr. Whiteford the bride of Frankenstein? I'm not even gonna honor that with a response, Wolf. All right, I'll take your word for it. You could be useful. We were just on our way out to get back up ourselves. Lift the lockdown, Wolf. I ain't lifting, sir. Why the hell not? That is simply because the encryption on that lockdown is far beyond the skills of some wasteland code monkey. You would need the director's password to open it, but oh no, you seem to have put a bullet in the head of Burns, the one person who had the access code. Listen here, Frankenstein. I'm in charge here. You don't like it, you'll find you and Burns are gonna have something in common. I'm merely pointing out that your rash decision-making is the primary factor as to why we are stuck in this current predicament. Shut the hell up! Clay! Wolf! Options! I could try to bypass the wire in here at the console, sir. That would not work. All of our hardware has temper protection. It'll just fry itself, and we'll be even more stuck. There has to be a way to reset the passcode. We were hired to do a simple protection job, but now shit's gone more sideways than a whore out of good neighbor. T 
thanks to the captain's rash and uninformed decision-making. Can it, Frankenstein? We're worked up because these eggheads went too far. We thought this was gonna be a standard protection op until we found out what they were up to. You don't understand what you saw, it wasn't- I'm pretty damn sure I understood what I saw, Frankenstein. And I for damn sure am not comfortable with being locked down here with them! We just need a little more time. The experiment will work. I've given you butchers nothing but time! But look where it's got us. Locked in a cave with no way out! There might be one way. Well, spit it out, Grease Monkey. If we can get to the main server, we can probably reset the passcode. Well, hot damn! Why didn't you speak up sooner? There's a hitch. To get to the main servers, you have to go through the labs. That is a bitch of a hitch. But it gives us an opportunity. You're thinking what I'm thinking, Clay? We waste the abominations on our way there. Two birds, one stone. You're goddamn right. And just to be sure they don't try this twisted shit again, we better put Frankenstein and his lover here in the ground. Just wait. You don't have to do any of that. What's wrong, little miss? Your big beautiful brain will make excellent wallpaper. God knows these caves need a little color. Just listen. I ain't been paid to listen. I don't think I asked your opinion. Protection. Like most gunner contracts, some wimp is too much of a pussy to fight his own battles. But he's got the caps to make us do it. Ugh, oh, and I thought this was going to be easier than the caravan garden. We ain't got all the time in the world here. But sure, you can go hear her excuses. Thank you. Maybe cooler heads can prevail. We're trying to make the next generation of soldiers. Warriors capable of reclaiming the wasteland. Dr. Kaim and I were working on a way to control them. If we were just given a bit more time to finish our experiments. It's quite simple, really. I helped to develop domestication devices that were used to control death claws. Compared to that, this is a cakewalk. Listen to them. You believe this bullcrap? They want to control them, so they have their own personal army. What will make you listen, Captain? This is purely for research. They will be disposed of when we are done. Those things are bloodthirsty monsters. I saw what they did to Rhodes. How many of my people need to die for your precious research? What will make you listen, huh? We're better off disposing of them ourselves. You don't have enough ammunition for that. But I got enough to put a pretty little hole between your pretty little eyes. I saw it with my own eyes. He got dragged away by those monsters. I can still hear him screaming. They lurk in the shadows, and when you're not looking, they rip you to shreds. You can try to scream, but they'll rip your throat out, and you'll drown in your own blood. I've seen it. Barely escaped with my life. What? You think you're just gonna march down here and start solving our problems? <laughs> oh, hello, random stranger who showed up out of thin air. Why, yes, I'd certainly like to trust you blindly at your word. Do you not see how stupid that sounds? You might have a problem if this is a regular occurrence for you. All right. I'm willing to give an outside perspective a chance. But one slip-up, and you're going in the same unmarked grave as Frankenstein. Got it? You can talk to everyone here, weigh our options. Then come to me with what you think we should do. And then I'll decide if I give a damn about what you think.
Personal log, Director Burns. My team has settled in well to the new labs. It's not as spacious, and our resources aren't as limitless as they were in DC, but without the administration, I've been able to greenlight many more projects. And we're making good progress. I hope our research sees the light of day, literally and figuratively. It's been quite a while since any of us have seen the sun. At least down here, we're isolated enough from the dangers of the wasteland above. Hi. So. Whatever plan that gets us the hell out of this shithole. You're probably right. I'm surprised he gave you a shot at all. And why should I betray my boss? Probably. All right. I'll follow your lead. I... I don't suppose the beverage dispenser will ever be fixed now. You're crazy! <clears throat> what is it? I don't pick sides, really. Either one sounds good enough to get us the hell out of this shithole. Only thing I'm worried about is that you're gonna have to drag me down there with you to reset the lockdown. Maintenance. Making sure this place doesn't fall apart. Not that that did much good when those eggheads nearly blew it all the high heavens. First the cryo lab blew up, then some of the experiments got out. Next thing we know, we've retreated all the way out here. And you lock the doors so we can't get out. All right. Don't take too long coming to a decision. <clears throat> yeah. Kilgore's got an all right head on his shoulders. He knows what he's doing, but sometimes I worry he's gone a bit stir crazy after being locked up down here. Definitely a possibility, knowing the captain. I don't know. Can you? That's not a very convincing argument. Yeah, he's been a bit much lately. I'll stick with you. Uh-huh. need the key. I hope that odor isn't coming from you. It's theoretically possible. Hey, can I help you? We were doing good work here. There's no reason to stop it now because a man got angry. Bioengineering. Revolutionary stuff. Work that needs to be finished. For the betterment of mankind. Farewell. <clears throat> what do you think? I sure as hell am not about to let Frankenstein lead me and my men to their deaths. Shoot the fuck out of those monsters and blast their experiments back to hell. God, you're inquisitive. 
You need to ask so many goddamn questions to make a decision. I would end you right now if I didn't want to waste the ammo. I think you already know the right choice. Hi. Yes? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. I suppose an explanation is in order. Simply put, Judith and I have isolated an auditory frequency that lets us pacify the subjects. We simply need help fine-tuning the experiment before we can get past them safely. Well, mine, of course. If you listen to Kilgore, you might as well be taking orders from a monkey with a gun. He'll get us all killed with his cavalier actions and general misunderstanding of our situation. Oh, myself? Oh, not much to tell. Just a man of science looking to leave his mark on the world. The one thing I can tell you is I had this situation completely under control. The science is sound, but Kilgore decided to get a little emotional over things he did not understand. <sighs> I'm relieved you've decided to make the smart and logical choice. However, I don't think this decision will go over well with the good captain. Hey! The hell are you and Frankenstein jabbering about over here? Now, now, Captain. We're just coming to a decision. You thought I'd just give in to your idea? Tuh. Clay! Wolf! On me! I'm not going along with this, Kilgore. Sorry, boss. Not happening. I guess I never really did save you two back there. Because you're dead to me now. Only one thing to do with turncoats. Oh, my goodness! I don't suppose the beverage dispenser will ever be fixed now. You're crazy. <clears throat> Can I help you? I'm glad you decided not to give in to Kilgore's bloodlust. Our experiment must be completed. No, no, we're equals. Our abilities complement each other. Nearly two dozen. We lost quite a few when the cryo lab went down. The rest, when the subjects broke containment. Farewell. That's not my problem. What is it? Kilgore might have been bloodthirsty, but you should still be careful with the scientists. They're the ones that got us into this mess, remember? Well, I've been with the science team longer than the Gunners. I was part of their group when we set this place up. They do their experiments and I make sure the lights stay on. Pretty simple arrangement. All right, see ya. Hey there. Yeah. Well, Kilgore didn't go completely ballistic, so it could have been much, much worse. Name's Clay. Wait, why the hell was I about to tell you my life story? How is that at all important to the situation at hand? We're the toughest sons of bitches in the Commonwealth and surrounding areas. Well, besides super mutants, maybe, and the Brotherhood of Steel, but besides that, we're top dogs. Sure. 
Excuse me. Sup? I used to run with the caravans. Guard work. One time, I was at a stop, and there was a team of gunners running with a caravan. And I was like, holy shit. They're way better equipped than my raggedy ass. And I immediately signed up. It's better than the caravan work, that's for sure. Well, it was. Until this shit show. Well, I'm still alive, so that's an upside. Uh-huh. Yup. Did you submit your status report to the administrator today? I don't think so. Excuse me. I assume you need something? Well, I'm certainly pleased you went with my plan. Kilgore was ready to kill me. If not for you, I'd most certainly be dead. As I had previously stated, I was one of the head researchers on the Enclave's efforts to control Death Claws. The end result of that was the pacification devices, which were effectively headsets that were placed on the Death Claws. Transponders were used to send a signal to the headsets in range, and they would play an inaudible noise that would pacify the Death Claws. The goal of this experiment was to continue the research and get rid of those clumsy headsets, and just play the noise directly to the creatures. And when we combined data from our other team working on mutated ghouls, we found that you can control just about any wasteland creature, provided you can tune it to the right frequency. The plan? Oh, yes, the plan. Well, we simply need to finish the experiment. Oh, no, 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 no. Sitting around would be a waste of our time. And your talents, I suppose. There is lab equipment that is critical to finishing the experiment, and we need your help to retrieve it. That would be a correct assumption. You've been very helpful thus far, and I'm sure you're more than capable of retrieving the lab equipment that is critical to the experiment's success. Well, the lab equipment we need would, of course, be in the labs, where we conducted the experiments. I don't know where else you'd think to find them. Well, you've shown you can handle yourself after taking care of the captain. There should be everything you need inside the labs. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? No. Do you know who ate all the donuts? No. Hey. Yeah? Be good to stretch my legs, sure. I have leak is spread further than I thought. Good thing I dressed in layers. Personal log, Director Burns. A group of wasteland thugs managed to break into our cargo elevator. We managed to subdue them, but not after they had shot and harassed my team. The good news is that we have some fresh test subjects. The bad news is that I'll need to find some actual security for this place, and probably overhaul the built-in security systems as well. That's it. like the lockdown is preventing us from going anywhere but the cryo lab. There should be a way around back into the armory that way if we're careful. I hope we don't 
don't have to stick around here for too long. My toes might fall off. Everything down here is frozen. No surprises yet. Personal log, Director Burns. Last night, there was a catastrophic failure in the cryo lab. A burst pipe caused a cascade that froze over the entirety of the lab. I've quarantined the area until we've figured out what to do with it. Hopefully the mess doesn't spread.
least everything down here is frozen. No surprises yet. Pleasure was all mine. Find the card. Personal log, Director Burns. Last night there was a catastrophic failure in the cryo lab. A burst pipe caused a cascade that froze over the entirety of the lab. I've quarantined the area until we've figured out what to do with it. Hopefully the mess doesn't spread. Yes, it is I, Dr. Keim. Good to hear you're still alive. Judith fixed up the intercom. We should have a solid connection to talk down there. Oh yes, it was quite broken. Never fear, though. Judith was our audio equipment specialist, and she was able to repair it excellently. Oh yes, we need a test subject. If you could capture one for us, that would be very helpful. One of the experiments, the mutants, the monsters in the basement, 
the Frankensteinian creations, as the good captain would have put it. Thank you. All I need is for you to lure one of the subjects into an airlock. Should be quite simple, really. What kind of shit have we gotten into now? so we can work on finishing this experiment. Hey there. I assume you need something? Ah, yes, yes. Bring it here. Allow me to quickly inspect it. Mm, everything seems to be accounted for. Mm, some minor damage, but still functional. Thank you again. Now we can return to our experiment. Oh, no, no, not at all. We just need to double-check our research and make sure it works. You could certainly rest for a bit if you'd like, but I'm certain you'll need Mr. McCaffrey's help when you go to reset the lockdown. Maybe check to see if he needs something. <clears throat> what is it? Yeah, I figure you're gonna have to drag me down to the mainframe to get the security lockdown reset. I don't know if I'm too happy about that arrangement. I, I know this bunker system's like the back of my hand. If anyone's your go-to guy, it's me. How so? That is reassuring. Thanks. I don't know about that. You're right. Hell yeah, I am. Thanks for the pep talk. Hi. I assume you need something? Yes! Can't you hear that? The sound of progress! Our experiment uses inaudible tones to pacify the creatures. Dr. Kaim is trying to be funny. You should be okay now that the experiments are pacified. I'm going to stay back here with Dr. Kaim. We're piping in audible tones through the PA system that pacifies the experiments. Just don't attack the experiments. They may regain their aggression. Good luck. Yes, good luck. It's highly likely our luck will change. Don't you agree? You're crazy.
Hey there. Give me a moment, I'll get the lockdown lifted. Thank God they got those terrifying creatures pacified. <laughs> this would be a lot more difficult if I was being eaten by mutants. That should do it. The lockdown is lifted. Nice work. Yep. We'll be up in a minute and we can leave. I don't think you'll be leaving. Oh boy, what now? Have fun with my pets now! Shit. That doesn't sound good. Yeah. <laughs> 
All the rats are gone. Feels great. Survived. How? You were just going to get in the way of our experiments. Besides, more test subjects is always useful to have. They probably softened you up. Huh, well, no matter. I'll just take care of you myself. I'm sorry, Judith. And... I'm sorry to you, too. I didn't know that she had become so consumed by her work that she would attempt something like this. Using the high frequency and audible tones you helped us perfect. I feel terrible that something you helped us make was used against you. I apologize. My gun was still under construction. I feel terrible, but at least I made it in time and you survived. Yes, yes. Why don't you check the elevator? What a shit show. I'll be glad to get out of here. All the rats are gone. Feels great. Oh dear, more experiments are coming. We'll have to hold them off till the elevator arrives. I thank you for getting me out of there alive. I'm unsure what I'll do now, but I want you to have this. Make good use of it. It's my experimental cryo-ray. I sincerely doubt there's many job openings on the surface for scientists with a background in cryo and audio engineering. However, I'm certain I could try and hawk it as a doctor. No, you've done more than enough. Thank you, friend. Indeed. Farewell, and safe travels. <clears throat> you did good work down there. Appreciate you managing to get us out of there alive. Do you recall any of those uh, emergency survival procedures? No. Hey there. Yeah? What do you think? I sure as hell am not about to let Frankenstein lead me and my men to their deaths. I'm glad you came to your senses and made the right choice. Now to deal with the Butcher. I don't really give a shit what you think. I don't think we should either. Listen to him, boss. <sighs> Fine. Wolf, 
Go lock him up while we discuss the game plan. Yes, sir. <clears throat> this better be good. Huh. Ain't nothing been going to plan so far. Hopefully, people will fall in line here if we want to survive this shit. Still a bunch of systems that she has the ability to use. We might need that. She's useful, she lives. For now. Next part of the plan is simple. You and Clay need to go in, raid the armory, and get us set up to clean house. Yeah, that's where the armory is. If we want a fighting chance, we need ammo, dumbass. Finally! Tired of people not listening to my goddamn orders. Talk to Clay and get ready to move out. And remember, we need that ammo, not two more corpses under my command. So make damn sure you come back alive. Hey. Yeah? Yeah, I figured that when you said it. This place isn't too big that I couldn't hear him. Don't know why he didn't just call me over. Well, Kilgore didn't go completely ballistic, so it could have been much, much worse. Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got your back as long as you got mine. Labs are dangerous though, so we should be careful. It's like hell froze over down there. Cryo lab leak is spread further than I thought. Good thing I dressed in layers. Looks like the lockdown is preventing us from going anywhere but the cryo lab. There should be a way around back into the armory that way if we're careful. I hope we don't have to stick around here for too long. My toes might fall off. Everything down here is frozen. No surprises yet. was that thing? Some sort of frozen ghoul? I think the experiments got in here. Good news, that means that there's a way into the armory. Bad news is they have a way to us.
we are the mother load. Take all that you can carry. Is this thing working? Clay, report! We secured the armory and the ammo. Good to hear. That doctor lady fixed up the intercom system so I can communicate down here. Our radio's on the fritz? No. With all the stone and steel, the signal ain't getting to you. Unless we use hardwired connections like the intercoms. Good to know. Was there something you needed? Yeah. There should be some demolitions charges in there. We're gonna need those to blow this place to kingdom come. Grab them. You got it, boss. You heard him. Grab the explosives. Good riddance, you mangy thing. <clears throat> Report! We're back, Captain. And with the supplies. <laughs> First thing to go right around here in a long damn time. I feel like you've said that before. After how far south all this shit went. I'm just relieved that things are finally going right. Must be the help of our new friend here. Yes, you. And helpful you've been, that's for damn sure. Right. Well, with that sorted, we should have everything we need to head down and get this place unlocked. Just need to get that grease monkey to come with us. Seems like your specialty, or something. Good initiative. Keep it up. Hi. What is it? Yeah, I figure you're gonna have to drag me down to the mainframe to get the security lockdown reset. I don't know if I'm too happy about that arrangement. I, I know this bunker system's like the back of my hand. If anyone's your go-to guy, it's me. How so? You're right. Hell yeah, I am. Thanks for the pep talk. I hope that odor isn't coming from you. Maybe. This better be good. Ah, that's his name. Slipped my mind before. All right, good. We should be ready to head in and clean house. Clay, Wolf, you ready? You got yes, it, sir. Good, let's go. Yes. 
dear God! Is that Rhodes? I guess Frankenstein really was the monster after all. This is it. I'll get started on getting the lockdown sorted. Don't take too long. There's more of those things down here than I thought. Remember those explosives I had you grab? You'll need to plant the charges on the reactor while Colin works on the lockdown. So we can blow this place back to hell, dumbass. Because I told you to do it. Be quick about it. And make sure you set the timer long enough for us to get out of here in time. All the rats are gone. Feels great. All the rats are gone. Lockdown should be shut off. We should be good to get out of here now. Good. Now we can... I just wanted to do the courtesy of thanking you boys for lifting the lockdown. Have fun with my pets now. What the hell was that? She finished her goddamn experiment! I knew I shouldn't have left her alive! Now the beasts are more aggressive than ever! We need to get back up there, and kill that crazy bitch. Damn, feral ghouls.
My pleasure. You survived? How? You were just going to get in the way of our experiments. Besides, more test subjects is always useful to have. They probably softened you up. Huh, well, no matter. I'll just take care of you myself. I'm sorry, Judith. And... I'm sorry to you, too. I didn't know that she had become so consumed by her work that she would attempt something like this. Don't sass me, Wolf. Go check on the elevator. Yes, boss. You planted the explosives, right? Yeah, you planted them, right? I don't need your sass, either. Good. Provided you weren't an idiot. That timer should be long enough for us to get the hell out of Dodge. Wolf, elevator, status. It's on its way. Give it a minute. We don't have a minute. More mutants are on the way. Well, shit. Ain't got nowhere to run. All right, everyone dig in. We have to hold our ground here. Fine work in there. Here, I want you to have this. Just thanks. Make good use of it. It's my personal 44. You've earned it. We'll be going back to Gunner HQ. And hopefully, we get assigned as far away from this shithole as possible. If I happen to see you again, I might have to think twice about any contracts you have on your head. No. You've done damn well helping us out. Can't ask you for anything else. Safe travels, friend. When I get back to HQ, I'll be sure to shoot your name up the chain of command. Hopefully they take this report seriously. And all the others might think twice before gunning through their head. <laughs>
Just as ugly as 